What's going on, man? It's your big bro, Tran, again with another exclusive video. Don't nothing happen by mistake. Everything happens for a reason, all right? So if you're watching this video, I'm going to go ahead and tell you straight up, you nine times out of 10, no, I say 10 times out of 10, you got somebody that's close to you, somebody that know you, a friend, a colleague, somebody that you probably talked to yesterday, somebody that you probably talked to last week. Chances are they either envy you or they hating on you, okay? And if one of these signs of these five signs that I mentioned in this video aligns up with your situation, then you just need to know and be aware of that person and, 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 and tread lightly with that person because these these Decepticons, they show you in so many ways, but it be subtle though. But they show you in so many ways because they can't really cover it up. They can't hide it. But it's up to you to be able to detect it, detect it or not, okay? And so th the whole time, the whole time, they thinking in their mind that you don't detect it, okay? That's what they think, all right? But in this video, I'm about to give you five signs that somebody for sure that you know, somebody that you're close to, is envying you right now and they hating on you right in front of your face all right now first thing you need to know is this most of the people nowadays are envying you and they they hating on you it's really deriving from social media social media has made people be able to come up with all kind of thoughts about what they think about you without them having to talk about you all right if it appears that you live in a better life than they is on your social media accounts, you know, if they see people that you kicking it with, taking pictures with on your accounts and stuff like that, who they don't know, um, the places that you go, they looking at the places that you go and maybe they not, they not at that place or something like that or events and stuff. They all basically just comparing your life to this and like i said once a person starts to feel like you are more valuable than them then that's when they're gonna start low-key envying you and hating on you all right because most of the time these people they ain't they ain't got nothing else to do you know they ain't got nothing else to do think about people that sit around at tmz all day they just sitting around on their little computers in their cubicles Cause there's some dorks and some nerds worried about famous people. And that, that's the same way people doing you right now. That's why they starting to envy you. That's why they kind of like hating on you because they sitting around probably somewhere on their computer, on their phone, speculating, looking at your life and, and coming up with all these thoughts in their head about who you are that ain't even real. All right. So, Listen, I'm about to give you these five signs real quick. Stay tuned to the end of this video, man. I got something very special for you. Make sure you don't forget to subscribe to your Big Bro Trend channel. Listen, this is the first sign that somebody's envying you and they hating on you. If they never really associate with you until you do something big or when you do, until you do something major, okay? Like I said, this could be something simple as you taking a picture at a... At a, at a at a at a show or something you can go to a show that you know they've never been to you know coachella <laughs> you know some type of big time uh ball game or something like if they if you know that for a fact they don't really associate with you on a day-to-day -day basis like that and every time you do something unique every time you do something significant that is good and they come out of the woods this is how you know that person envies you, all right? Because the whole time they've been watching you, all right? But they not coming out to say nothing about you until you do something of merit, like something real big, something good with yourself. It could be changing your look. It could be changing your image or something. If you, you switch your hairstyle up, you did your hair a new different color and it looked good, and you take a picture of that hairstyle or something, they gonna come out 
and they're going to have something to say about it. And, and most of the time, it's not going to be good. They're going to they gonna give you a compliment, but then right on top of that, they're going to throw shade on you at the same time while giving you the compliment. Because like I said, folks, they most of the time, these people ain't doing nothing but set back just judging you and seeing how good you're doing and comparing it to how good they doing in their life. All right? And the reason why they do this, um, it's like macro, it's like macro, it's like macro checking you and then coming in and, and, and wrecking you when they, when they think that you getting, you know, better than them or something. So what they want to do is they want to take you off your focus. They want to take you off your hustle. They want to put you down. They want to pull you down, you know? And then they're going to run back into their little cave and do it all over again. They ain't going to talk to you for a little minute, you know, going to act like you, you don't exist, going to act like you're you insignificant. And then, like I said, every time they see you happy doing something or they hear about you doing something big, here they come right back out the wood again. And you just be like, yo, like, why you like here one day and then you're gone the next day and then you're here again and when I'm doing this and then when I'm doing that you go you, you ain't around and then when I when I when I take a picture with you know this girl right here then you all in my face again it's because they envying you man and it's they showing you that they hating on you but they do it in a subtle way all right the second sign that somebody is envying you that's close to you somebody that you know is Instead of saying something good about your success or, you know, instead of giving you a compliment about something that you, you might love to do, they always got to say something smart. They always like to say something smart. It's like you can never get, you know, it's like you can never get somebody to say something good. You never get them to say nothing good. But like I said, when they show up, they always got something smart to say. You know, they 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 gossip about anything that supports their narrative to try to discredit you. All right. This is why they always got something smart to say because they're trying to discredit you to support their narrative, you know? And you know, like let's say, let's say you get a you hit you hit um a lottery or something. They heard you hit a lottery. You know, or you know, they say they see that you got your 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 your, your business running or something, and you know, um, or they see that you at a at a fancy restaurant. You know, they gonna say things like, "How much money it cost you?" You know, just just smart little stuff. Like, I see you got all them likes. I see you got all them likes on your page. Do you know them people? You don't really know them, do you? You know, they, they always gonna have something smart to say because like I said, you know, they gonna they gonna want they trying to discredit you so they can pull you down. They trying to basically shit on you underhandedly. That's what they basically trying to do if you really want me to tell you the truth. They trying to shit on you underhandedly. You know? You know, if you if you uh if you stay at Airbnb or something like that, invite a friend over. And they say, is this yours? You know, you ever have people to say that, you know, you, you got a car or something, you know, you just driving in a car and you and you you pull up and you see one of your friends or your homies or something. That's you. That's you. That's that's the first thing they want to know. That the first thing people like that want to know is they once again, they comparing their value to you. So if you if you got anything that is that is propelling you that they don't have. They're going to always question it. Is that real? Is that, let me see that shirt. Is that, that's the real, that's the real kind. Like, why does it matter? But like I said, folks, they just basically trying to shit on you low key because they don't want you to have more than them. They don't want you to have nothing. That's why they hating on you. Okay. Um, the next reason why people be envying you and, and, and if somebody is envying you and hating on you, the next sign is the most obvious sign on this whole list. Okay. And that is the response time. 
that they respond to you. That is the number one thing that people give themselves away with when they want to basically show you that they don't give a damn about you. And they do it right in front of your face sometimes. Sometimes you don't even think about it because they always got an excuse as to why they not responding to you in a timely manner. Now, no, now, no, no, for a fact, damn near everybody in our society nowadays is always on their cell phones or either on their iPads or their computer. Almost every damn body. Every, all the communication nowadays takes place through emails, text messages, and videos. And tweets and stuff. You don't think that they don't see that you have sent them a message? Oh, they see it. Especially if they know you. They seen it. They just left you on, they just left you on green. That's all it is because, like I said, they showing you that they really don't like you like, like you think they do. They just wanted to probably reach out to you. Try to get in your business a little bit. Try to, you know, they don't, they like to try to fill you out and see how you, what you're doing in your life and try to ask you little sneaky ass questions and stuff like, yeah, you know, I, you know, I, I, I don't know what you do for a living. What you mean? I don't know. You don't know what I do for a living. My damn bio is on the page. Duh. But see, this is how envious people behave. Remember, everything is trying to discredit you, try to make you look like you lesser than where you went. And they comparing their life to you. I mean, they're comparing your life to their life based on images and stuff they see, based on the numbers on social media. If you got more comments than her on on your page and, and and your pictures she gon she gon not respond to you the next time you text her she gonna say oh oh I, girl i was working i've I been working for two days girl you know they gonna all kind of excuses as to why they didn't respond to you they gonna call your phone you gonna really be busy you ain't gonna be able to answer they call you're going to call them back in five minutes. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. You're going to call again. It's going to go faster to the voice message next time. Your call has been forwarded to the automated voice message system. They sitting there declining your call the whole time to try to make you feel bad because you didn't answer their call when they called you. That's how they showing you. They envy you because they feel that they deserve what you have, even your time. They feel like they deserve your time. If somebody really low-key like you, but they envy you at the same time, they gonna expect you to communicate with them at the speed that they want you to communicate with them. They not gonna have no, they not gonna have no uh, consideration that, you know, you might be uh, getting your car fixed or something, or, you know, you might be taking a shower or something. If they envy you, it's a secret until you start seeing the behavior of how they treating you because you're not giving them what they feel they deserve. And so they're going to start, they're going to start responding all late, slow. It's going to be a week later before she responds, bro. Oh, I didn't see it. I I didn't see it. I, my phone been dead for the whole 24 hours. You a lie. Phone ain't dead. Her phone is not dead, bro. That's a lot. They showing you that they envy you. They hate you low key, bro. You know what I mean? They thinking that they, 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 it's just an illusion. You know, it's just an illusion because they think they in a race with you or something. You know, if you got a friend that you, you, you network with. You might be doing business with the friend. Y'all supposed to be working together on y'all all y'all projects. One, your friend might start envying you because they comparing you to them in their head. It's an illusion. They think they in a race with you or something. You know, they think they in a race against you. You know, and they don't. They feel like they don't have it as good. As you, 
But it's just what they think in their mind because they thinking, they assuming stuff in their mind that ain't really real. So you got you to keep in mind, these people are delusional and they want to feel more important than you versus just keeping it real with you. So in return, that person is going to show you envious behavior and you're going to be like, yo, what's the problem? What did I do? Nothing. They just envy you behind closed doors because they trying to compare and contrast your life to their life. And they ain't even really talk to you about how you doing what you're doing or got to where you at. They don't need a reason. Huh? The fourth sign somebody envy you and hating on you right in front of your face is um just by the conversation y'all have. You know, you ain't gotta you ain't gotta be a rocket scientist to figure out somebody like you when y'all conversating, you know. All you got to do is just look at their body language. Just look at the body language. You can, when people are in your face conversating with you, you can, you can feel the energy. Do they, are they acting all nervous and they moving all shaky and stuff? Look at, look at her facial expressions when she's talking to you, dog. Look at her eyes. Look at how, look at how she responds to your questions and the things she say. She'll, she'll tell it on herself because it's, these one thing you gotta understand about haters and envious people, they don't think that you can see it if you smart. Because, but the thing you get, the thing that they don't understand is is that you can't you can't be fake for so long. Eventually, your true colors is gonna start showing, and that person will, if they not dumb, you will figure them out. And like I said, most of the time, you can find this out by. Just the conversation y'all have. You can feel the energy in the conversation. Person always trying to brag about how much work they doing. If they always bragging about what they done accomplished. It's like, whoa, like, what is, why is it always got to be on something like you doing so good with your life? Okay, that's great. You're an adult. You're supposed to be doing good. And you just be like, yo. I don't even want to talk about what I'm doing. I mean, I'm just trying to have a conversation with you. They always want to be in competition with you with what you, what, you, what they accomplish. You know, you can feel the energy coming off them when they talking to you. See, some people, it's, it's, it be in their face. It be in their eyes. It be in their, they, they smile. <laughs> they can't even smile a real smile. When they talking to you, that's how you know that they hating on you. They, <laughs> hey, they, they looking at you. They giving you this glare. This, they giving you this weird look. And it's like, you showing me, you envy me. You don't like me. And so just, just in a conversation with some, listen, and one thing you got to understand, always go with your gut. Don't never go with your mind, with your mind thing. Just go with how they make you feel. That's how you know if somebody really is for you versus them hating on you, being against you. Just, you will feel it when y'all stop talking. When you go away, you go home, you will feel it. Like, oh, okay. Damn, she got a problem with me. Okay, I see how it is. Yep, yep. Then right when you leave their presence, that you send that text message or that you try to call their phone an hour later. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice message system. And they just told you to call them. Oh, uh, yeah. Let's talk later. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, we we we'll we we'll exchange Instagrams and everything. Just yeah, shoot me a message. All right, cool. Bye, peace. Next day you shoot them an Instagram message. Next day, you try to call a phone. No response the whole day. The no response the next day. They showing you they don't really like you, but they didn't show you. They they thought you didn't see, but they, they don't like you. They didn't like you doing the conversation. Last but not least, the fifth sign. Somebody you know envies you or they be hating on you is this. They want to be a part of your hustle. And it ain't nothing being a part of somebody's hustle or something like that. But what I'm trying to say is they want 
to try to tell you how to run your hustle. They want to try to tell you how to run your business. They want to try to tell you how to run what you got going on. That's how you know they hating on you. They hate, they hate, they they hate, they hating on you, man. You know what I'm saying? If you do something like you do tattoos, they gonna try to tell you, you know, do it this way. I wouldn't have put that color with that. It don't, it's all right, it's, I don't see one is better. They gonna always try to say something as if they know more than you. They gonna always try to be uh, negative about what you got going on. You might be in good shape, work out, hit the gym on a regular basis. They hit the gym too. But guess what? If you get to work in harder than they do, oh, I see you gained a little weight today. You still eating healthy? What? Nah, and I'm just, I'm just saying, like, you look a little bigger, though. You look a little bigger. What? You gonna compliment me and then throw shade. This is what they do. Because they feel like what you have, they deserve it. That's what they feel like. They feel like what you don't work for, they deserve it. They entitled to have what you have. They don't need to tell you uh, 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 the reason why they feel they want what you got. They in, they entitled to it. Oh no. No, you gotta uh you gonna pay for this for me, baby. You gonna get this for me. You gotta buy me something. Da, da, da. I barely even know you. Yeah, I know, but you gotta go buy me something at the mall right now. They entitled. Because, like I said, it's a sign of low-key hate. They really like you. Jealousy. Jealousy, like I said, jealousy is just love and hate at the same time. They like you, but they don't like the fact that they like you that much. And so it turns into like this low-key vibe hate. Macro checking you. Trying to make you feel like you lesser than what you really are. Any chance they get, they try to throw the shade on you. And they think you don't know it. That's the whole illusion that they live in. They think in their mind you don't see it. But then some of them they do it on purpose. Because they can't hide they they can't hide their true colors. So these were the five signs someone is envying you and they hating on you. Shouts out to the subscriber that requested this video, man. If this video resonated with you, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you make it your favorites, man. Comment below and let me know that, that one of these signs resonate with you. Because if you got one of these persons in your life right now, I hope that you know who they are. And I hope that you play it well. You know, the whole thing that they trying to get you to do is, is, is just bow down to them pretty much. Just, just always be on their coattail all the time. So they can feel better than you because they know you better than them. They know you well off than them. So, like I said, the whole objective is to try to lower your value, try to pull you down, make you look look bad, make you feel bad. They try to make you worry about them because they know you probably don't have to worry about them. But they try to do these little things to try to put put you on, to try to put them on your mind. Oh, I ain't, I ain't going to hit you back. Why? Because they want you to think about them because they know they ain't hitting you back because they want you to think about them because they already know and comparing you to them. And they, and they see you as a better person. That's how they. That's how you know that somebody's envying you and they hating on you. So get this video a thumbs up. If it resonated with you, share it with one of your good friends, man. Don't share it to the Decepticon. Share it with one of your good friends, man. If this video vibed out with you. Share it to your social media, man, on your Instagrams. Mention me, Trinis underscore Henderson. Share it to your Facebook, too. I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace and blessings. Keep God first.